What is going on guys? My name is Mehul and welcome to your 23rd node or express I should rather say JS tutorial and what the heck why the heck is this file always created always created in this document root instead of this node I'm sick of this well wait a minute if I just go ahead and create a new file here dot js hmm well this is kind of screwed up so if any of you guys have any idea how the heck do I resolve this then you know you're welcome to send me that all right so what we were talking about um, pizzas I guess yeah so pizza hut oh no 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 yeah so we were talking about routes in Express so what routes are basically is that they would allow you to act as a middleware and basically would just allow you to modify or get control over the subparts and subparts like this so if you have a URL like localhost and we already know how to control this by using app.get and then what about this well you can just simply control all of those further things right there with routes so let's quickly get started and uh, let's just write our express is require express then I want my application to be express only but I want my route to be or router to be express dot router all right now let's just quickly create a traditional application function request response then I want to say just response dot and hey there There you go and then finally just listen to 1337 function I am listening and don't worry about the spellings because I'm not either so let's go to terminal and start the server now write note mon Remember, we install NodeMon and we no longer need to write Node only. So, NodeMon script23.js. And here you go. Now, go to your browser. And we already have this text right there waiting for us. So, this works kind of well. Now, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to make use of something known as app.use app dot use like if you take a look in these tutorials 21 I made use of app dot use now what this app dot use does is is that it basically just says that whenever you are routing something like if you are making use of get or get or post or whatever then make use of this thing right here which is inside this so what happens is that whenever you are just calling this thing then under the hood this is also watching over this thing right there and waiting for it to do something so that it could fire eventually so what this app dot use would allow us is that we can just pass in our custom route inside here to just enable the path routing so let's just say instead of app dot get this I want to use app dot use my first route and what I want what I want which router I want to handle this is let's just say router itself so this is the router here and this is the router these both are same things so now what happens is that whenever your node application detects a request to this URL since it has no function defined for it right now it will just pass on all the functionality to this middleware which is this router right there so this router would be now in control 
now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say router dot get now router dot get would just work like the app dot get thing and I'm just gonna say um, hey there first route and function request response and I'm just gonna say response dot end what is going on and I'm gonna create another route which is also the get but this time I'm gonna say hey there first route again and yeah so what is going on there this is a bit different like that so what is happening here well as you can see I'm first of all making use of this use to just pass on all of my routing stuff on this URL to this router alright now the next thing I'm doing is I'm defining some methods on this router itself which would just act like as if you are doing something like this so this router would fire something like this when something like this would happen so I'm just gonna place the code back again and this router would fire when something like this happens so let's just take a look at the browser remember we don't need to do anything in the terminal because it is already listening to us at every change so I'm just gonna reload this and since we don't have any method defined for the home page so it just shows me cannot get the home page let's just go to my first route and as you can see it still shows me cannot get my first route because we don't have any router get just a slash we have these two urls so i'm just gonna copy this and paste it right there as you can see now we get what is going on so we are in second directory and router is working here again if I make use of this as you can see it shows me what is going on there this is different well now if you use app.get instead of router.get here then this would work normally even if you have this code so if you have this thing right here since we don't have this any methods on this router therefore it doesn't work and these codes would work as if you are just doing the same thing on the root directory and yeah so that's pretty much it how this router would work so yeah so that's all for this tutorial and in the next tutorial we'll be doing something cool with routers because routers are fun and that's what express makes you know that's why express makes a lot of sense because express makes it a cakewalk to do routing on node so that's all for this tutorial and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching